the tools that we shall not monitor. They are empowered mm. under Section 69 uh, mm. of the regulation to, to be in charge or to fall upon these girls. Right. However, this job or what this responsibility was given to them uh, also like uh, in a short way that they cannot, according to our observation, mm. they have always been claimed to be the monitors which thing we are contesting in our points. Mm -hmm. We say, you cannot tell a fox to be in charge of a meat store. That means the fox cannot account for the real meat mm -hmm. in because it enjoys it better. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell Kasita to go and buy things from China. When they reach Kampala, then they sit in URA to charge themselves uh, the taxes or to, to, to assess what they can charge their, their commodities. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. So you wear and the other parties which are being involved into this racket mm. of trying to say they're the ones to monitor us, mm. they're the ones who deploy these girls. At the same time, they want to give a report. The same mm. thing they made in Saudi. Mm. They put a coordinator, a coordinator who is paid by an Arab. Mm. So do you expect that coordinator, Ugandan coordinator, to make a good report? Or to even shine a light you, on human Yes, you've, you've had girls mm. crying at the offices, being beaten, mm. tortured, while ordered by the very Arabs. Mm. This, the, the Arab there, the counterpart in Saudi, is the boss of the job bloker mm. here. That is Uera, the, the man power puller. Mm. The Uera team, our good companies that are regulated. Now, they work for the other Arab. They cannot order that man. This is where we've had wrangles mm. of how can we mm. now rescue these girls. Even the minister mm. gets hand tied. Sometimes mm. they cannot use force mm. into that. Mm. And this is where the voices come in mm. and say no. Something must be done. And then the Arabs get scared and say, oh, we mm. are getting off track. And of course, if you're just joining us, I'm having this conversation with Mr. Abdallah Kayonde. Yes, we are talking about migrant workers and their plight. Remember, the Ghana Association of External Recruitment Agencies closed a shop last week Friday. What would that mean for the many 35,000 young Ugandans who are jeering to leave the country? Well, what about those who are already abroad? What does that mean? And the disclaimer, the views that are being shared on this show are solely of Ms. Abdallah Kayonde and not of NTV Uganda. Ms. Abdallah Kayonde, we are still uh, going on with this conversation. Yes. What exactly are the people abroad telling you? Uh, the people are saying that they are really misinformed. Uh, Wherever these mm. companies deploy them, look at, we, we have also a contest in mm. the training. Right. That whatever they are being trained in is not the reality there. They tell you you have a juicy job, maybe exactly. you're going to work when in, a, you in reach an there, office, reach something you become a different. security guard. But we are also surprised that mm. when you approach the ministry, you tell them, please, we need these jobs because you've not been able mm. to provide us these jobs here with good wages. It is, it is in the docket of the Minister of Labor to lobby parliament such that uh, Ugandans begin getting mm. good wages, such that we can stop this uh, mayhem. If this mayhem should continue, then we have to get organized like uh, the Indians, mm. like uh, the Free Pines. Our friends complain that they have been lied to mm. and they have not been organized. Is this, is this systemic fraud, Mr. Coyote? Uh, no, I, I don't know. It, it must because be. Because they we advertise clearly mm. and they mm. say you're going to get $1,000 or $1,200. Mm. But then these young people are going to the Middle East and they're mm. being given only 1,000 dirhams okay. or 800 dirhams which is like $200. Now, if I'm to tell you, if you are a pancake seller, you have pancakes that were left, the leftovers of yesterday, and you've made the fresh mm. ones today. If you are selling, mm. will you be able to tell what happened behind the closed doors to the, to the buyer? You cannot. Of, of course, mm. you say these are all fresh pancakes. Mm. You mm. understand? This is how they sell their stuff. And you, t you, you wake up and say, you are th then you go and monitor. You are the people to, to take to, to be in charge of UNBS or whatever. No. Mm. It means you lie. So these companies lie sometimes. So these are the things we need to look at and mm. we need to be there. In we need to be part yes. of in because it, we yes. are empowered right. to be part of this. They cannot be only two people mm. in this. We need to be in this decision making and mm. this is what we are calling for simple. Indeed then all these will be aired out and discussed. We are open for dialogue. In, indeed, Mr. Kayonde, in light of all these challenges, mm -hmm. has the government and all these agencies helped you? Uh, we believe they are sluggish. Mm -hmm. If they are to help, mm -hmm. they have gotten to listen a little bit, mm -hmm. but trying to ignore, weighing less of our voices. We believe our voices have not been heard but enough. But Mr. Kayonde, why would you ignore $700 million? Uh, and 2.2 okay, billion the, the shillings, point, the point money is, that is being brought in by the migrant they, workers. They are not ignoring, uh, like, uh, other monthly. They say, mm. 
uh, when these girls are deployed, you put a labor, a safe labor migration team. Right. That is UERA. Then the next day, because even within UERA, there is some system trafficking. I will tell you how they do. In the Uganda Association exactly. of Exactly. Some agents. companies do traffic these girls within the system. You cannot get a job order of 500 girls to deploy. And you are deploying, nobody checks the job order. You deploy up to 10,000. I see. Nobody is checking when did it stop, where did it begin from. This is where they begin dressing people in uniform and begin exiting them as if it is the same company. Could it be the reason why so government they are not was in the system? To and reopen? then the embassy ends up seeing people in a strange way. So I'm telling you something. Mm, yes. 